Tonight we have an update about a story we've been following for weeks. The Floyd County School District announced they will not rehire the four employees of the Department of Education identified as being involved in the KPREP cheating and special ed scan scandal. When the Department of Education's report came out weeks ago, it upset the district's community. And now there are significant positions at both the district office and Betsy Lane Elementary to fill. LEX 18's Claire Kopsky reports. Starts at the top, absolutely. That's where Floyd County Superintendent Danny Atkins says lawful behavior trickles down from. In a statement he released this week, he says changes must be made to his district central office because that's where the past problems began before he became the superintendent. I can't speak of what's happened in the past, but I can assure you that we're going to do things the right way in the future. In his statement, he says what was done was grievous and has done great harm and is an embarrassment and a terrible wrong. What happened was revealed in a scathing report released by the Kentucky Department of Education about the school district earlier this month. That report named four employees. First, Betsy Lane Principal John Kidd and Building Assessment Coordinator Rebecca Ratliff for changing student answers from wrong to right after collecting the K-PREP tests. And staff member Jordan Kidd is listed for showing a student what to do on a calculator during the state test. Finally, in regards to placing students in special education who may not have needed it, District Chief Academic Officer Tanya Williams is quoted telling staff, if you can't place them, then I will get someone else and you can find another job. I've had both sides, actually. I've had parents call me wanting to know how this has affected their child and the type of disciplinary actions will be taken. And I've had calls of folks in support of the administration. In his statement this week, the superintendent said the four teachers the state investigated will not be hired for future employment with the district. He also announced a restructuring of district leadership. We are obviously not taking the focus off learning, but we are going to put a little more emphasis, or actually more emphasis, back on making sure we're following protocol, policy, procedure, and everything in place is followed to the letter of the law. Culture of Floyd County has been Test scores, test scores, test scores. I want to change that culture. We're providing opportunity. We, we want our students, whether it be college, technical school, trade schools, apprenticeships, whatever, we want our students to have those opportunities when they graduate from Floyd County High Schools that they're life ready and they're, they're ready to begin their life on the right foot. On the right foot for their next life steps. In Floyd County, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News. The superintendent also said the four people who will not be rehired have been submitted to the Education Professional Standards Board for review regarding their teaching certification.